In this video, we will go over how to create this animation in Geometry Nodes, kind of an anime HUD looking effect. So let's begin. Let's begin by adding a plane and turning that off. And let's get some things out of the way. So let's do distribute points on faces and let's do an instance points. Instance on points. And we're going to use a cube. I'm going to plug this into instance. And I'm also going to want to control the size. Let's keep going. Let's do set position. Let's do scale instances. We're going to need a realize instances and we're going to need a set material. So let's get into it a little bit. So let's do a noise in the scale. So I want the scale to be changed. And also let's do scale. Oh, no, I meant to do a scene time. That's eventually going to be plugged into the set position. Um, position node right so before we get into that though let's finish this let's do a vector math oh not vector curves i'm in a vector math now let's duplicate this and let's do subtract let's do multiply and finally scale let's subtract by 0.5 get it back there and let's do e and now you have it here and let's turn this to 4D. Now let's get into this animation here. So let's do a math node. And let's do that, that. And let's do a multiply. Let's do a two radians. Let's have an add. And then we're going to do a sine wave. And this is basically an absolute here to constrain the position of the animation if that makes any sense it's constraining the location of this i'm just double checking this so let's keep going by putting this in here Plugging this value because we want the group input to control this and let's go here. Let's crank up the value a little bit. And you can now see we have movement, but it's not quite what we want still because we want position. And I'm going to actually duplicate this multiply here. Let me just double check this setup real quick. Sorry. Okay. So let's go back to this and this goes here and this position I want to separate XYZ and then I want to combine XYZ because I am trying to affect the X well all of these but I want the position to be moving like so let me turn this off again and you now see that we have a little bit of movement and this is not quite working how we want because we want a random value in to this multiply because we want it to move more as well as I also want a random value placed here and you can see we have a bit of movement let's keep going I'm going to add another multiply and I'm going to place it into scale and I'm going to plug the absolute value into it again. And now there's a little more tinkering. Actually, we want this to be tau, the value of tau. And I want to combine this minimum and maximum of this float value. Oh, 
trying to select this. My apologies. Oh my gosh. And plug this here. Okay. And I'm going to increase the density. And I'm going to lower that. Um, and I'm just going to double check the setup here again. I think, oh, that is what I think I have messed up. I think it's the, right, okay. Oh, and it's in the offset. My apologies. So you want this in the offset and you want the position to not be affected. And you can't see it because that it's too small now. Okay, there you go. And I want this multiply in here. Nope. I want this in here. There you go. All right, so that is the effect. And it doesn't look like the other one because some of the values are not the same and it looks like I also have one other value that I need to change which is this and let's just turn it to like E right okay so this is the base animation and you're probably wondering how do I make it as cool as that and that is because I add more modifiers so let's check the modifiers right so I have the geometry nodes which is great but then I have a cast a mirror and a screw modifier on this so I'm going to add a cast and turn this to one so now we have it a little more interesting and I want a mirror and I kind of just mess around with this and then I also do a screw but clearly that's not good and I want it to be on the Y because that's what it's facing and then I'm going to do 137.5 times 3 and maybe I have this so and then it's just a little bit of more of just adjusting these values basically. So let's go to here and I believe I want the scale to be turned down, right? Yep. That's exactly what I want. So these vector values are important here. And one other thing that I did was I added an empty. I parented the plane to the empty and then I animated the empty. So I did hashtag sign frame times 0.05 I believe times pi and it will go back and forth and basically for this I'll go into the shading real quick so let's go to the shading and because this is the geometry nodes I'm not going to go too deep into the shading and created from scratch up oh, and it doesn't show up because I didn't select that shader and the shader looks like this it's a mixed shader with an emission a color a transparent and a Fresnel node or excuse me a layer weight node with facing plugged into the factor I turned on backspace calling and alpha blend in um, EV and really just duplicate this duplicate it because that's exactly what I did here so I just duplicated it and added different modifiers so I have uh, you know the cast I changed the mirror I changed the screw value one of them has uh, I tried remeshing one of them I did a different cast value and if you're interested, the background is this. It's literally just a 
plane with an animated brick texture plugged into the strength of the emission. And the plane just has a subdivision, a displace, and a wireframe on it. So yeah, uh, try something different with these setups and tell me, share anything, share if you've uh, made a better geometry node setup. Um, the cool thing about the empty is you could uh, rotate it, right? So I could rotate it on the on the z-axis and now you have something like that so maybe i want like a slight uh you know rotation so anyways thank you for watching and i hope you learned something and tune in for the next video